Hello, this is uh, Cyprian from fe 4 all So, second video about a Fortran tutorial in which I'll show you uh, how to declare variables, how to prompt, uh, uh, how to ask for your name and how to print a small program that will display your name. So, it will introduce you to a bit more of a Fortran concept that you have to know in order to write uh, programs. So, let's start right away by opening a new terminal and let's go again into uh, into the folder that I have on my desktop uh, in which I'm putting all the Fortran scripts. So for the moment I have only Hello World that I presented in a previous video. Uh, now let's go with, uh, let's create a new file that I call, uh, I will call uh, namer okay I can give it the name I want I call it namer f95 again with the Fortran extension enter and I'm using again uh, Emacs so now I have my file here uh, so let's see how to structure um, this uh, new program uh, so we start exactly the same way than the previous one so program uh, let's call it namer uh, and and program namer so it's it's good to always you know uh, write both so you don't forget to write the other one at the end uh, and now I want what I want this program to do uh, is first to uh, so let's write it well, I want the program to tell me uh, ask me ask me to write my name so at the same time you can see how to write the comments in Fortran ask me to write my name and uh, you know recognize the typing from uh, the terminal and thirdly I wanted to print out my name so how to do that well, the first step you have to, to do is to, you see that you will need a variable uh, called name. So we have to declare the variable in Fortran always. So declare the variable. Okay, so I have only one variable, which is my name, and it's a character variable. Um, so you write like that, the variable character name. Uh, here I'm willingly making a mistake, but you'll see why right after. So for a moment, bear with me, uh, watch all the videos so you'll see what mistake I'm talking about. So uh, I'm declaring a variable called name of the type character. So it's basically, it's a string. Um, and now I need to ask it for my name. So we use the same way that uh, I, I did for the first video with the hello world, print star and then just a sentence asking for the name what is your name right and now we need to recognize um, the typing in the terminal of the name right so this comment is called read so it will read so it's basically uh, constructed the same way than the previous one but this time it will read what i'm typing and it will save it into the name variable that i defined previously so uh, it does that. It reads the thing and it put it into name. And the third thing it should do is that it will print out again. Print star and um, and then my name is and then comma and the name of the variable and then it will concatenate the string my name is with my variable name. Uh, of course your variable has to be a string otherwise it cannot concatenate uh, or maybe it can it depends but uh, we'll see so now let's see uh, and let's try to compile this program to see how it works uh, and now it's the time to show you a function I like in Emacs uh, so I'll use control X control uh, and and 3 to open a new window and control X O to switch to the other window and uh, I open terminal directly into Emacs, so I don't even have to leave it. So I use ask uh, X and I tap shell, and I'm opening the terminal directly into. 
which is nice. I have both on each side. And I, I use the G Fortran again. G Fortran O and the name of my uh, executable name and the name of my uh, well or namer maybe namer and the name of my file namer.f95 compiling that and now I have to launch a script so my executable is called namer okay so it launches it asks me what is my name so my name is Cyprian enter and now it's print out my name is C hmm that's strange I gave it uh, Cyprian but it prints out my name is C so where uh, where is this problem coming from let's come back the first window control X O uh, and actually it comes from the fact that a uh, small problem that I told you before uh, is that I declared a character variable but in Fortran you have to give it the length of the variable so you have to add a star like that and the number of character uh, maximum characters in your string so uh, name star 10 right um, and let's try again let's try again and the fun thing in Emacs is that you can do like that do again the, po the command by clicking and launch again now let's try again Cyprian Cyprian okay and now it works my name is Cyprian Great, now we learned how to um, take a variable uh, and read it and then print it out. Now, there's still one last thing I want to talk about, uh, is that um, there is an important comment that generally is put before declaration of variable. Um, and this, uh, this is extremely important because it will avoid you a lot of problems. So it's the comment implicit none so you will generally see this comment in front of all Fortran uh, uh, F90 or 95 programs and what this command does is that it actually check if your variables are defined correctly because uh, in older in older version uh, it was considered boring to uh, to define all those variables so uh, there was kind of uh, automatic definition of uh, called implicit implicit definition of the variables but it's uh, it caused a lot of problems so basically it's much better to use this function called implicit none to uh, to have this check of the variable before running the other thing so it's avoid uh, problems afterwards that's uh, quite important and that's that's it for this video so uh, we are now able to read from terminal and print out, print out something uh, so in the next video i'll show you something a bit more uh, a bit more useful maybe to to start to calculate something so uh, maybe we'll we'll do a simple uh, program that makes a sum of variable and a division of uh, division of variables and we'll learn a few more uh, important concepts of Fortran through uh, this process. So thank you again for watching. So if you're on YouTube you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description otherwise you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.